This video is about a trip I made to Italy in 2016. I want to take a minute to tell you what motivated me to take the trip, and it all started with my grandmother. I was born in 1942 during the Second World War. My German-American father and my Italian-born uncles were overseas serving in the U.S. military, and so I was raised until I was four by my mother and my grandparents, Frank and Maria. My grandmother, Maria, didn't speak much English, and Italian was the primary language spoken at our house, but she insisted that I learn and speak English at home. Consequently, I never learned Italian beyond being able to understand a little from hearing family conversations. In spite of all the spoken Italian and Italian food, somehow I never realized until I was an adult that my mother was an immigrant and I am a first generation Italian American. Because my mother worked supporting the war effort, it was Maria who raised me during this time, and my early childhood memories about my heritage were all based on classical Italian stories that she told. I learned that she met my grandfather, Francesco Ruggiero, while he was an officer in the Italian army. She left her urban Naples family and married Frank in his mountain hometown of Malvito Cosenza in 1915. He had previously traveled in the United States, but had returned to Italy during World War I. As a result of these early influences, and in spite of my blonde hair and generally mixed ethnicity, I have always identified with all things Italian. I grew up with my desire to see Italy and learn more about my family heritage. I visited Italy several times as a world traveler, but I had never been to the region my family was from. I realized that I would have to do some research if I wanted to explore my Italian roots. I started by researching the family name Ruggiero, which I discovered could be traced to pre-Roman times. There were many variations on the name, but it was common throughout Italy. I realized it was likely that somewhere in the province of Cosenza was my grandfather's ancestral home, and I wanted to find it. We're on our way to San Francisco Airport to stop for a little lunch here in uh, Richmond Marina, which is a lovely place to be. Um, we're planning to be in Rome by Monday morning, and then from Rome we will, after spending a couple of days in Rome and doing some exploration there, we're going to travel south all the way along the Amalfi Coast, uh, going to Capri and Positano and and Salerno and other areas along the coast, and then we're going down, uh, ideally by bus, to the village where my mother and grandfather uh, and uh, their, the whole family is from, a uh, place called Mavito. You see that the airport here is a little bit hectic, but uh, actually things seem to be pretty well organized, and uh, I think we're supposed to meet our person who's picking us up in just a little while. Well, here we are in Rome, at least I think we're still in Rome. We uh, chose a hotel, I chose a hotel, that was uh, 45 minutes out of the city, or beyond Central City. So uh, we're going to stay here tonight, catch up on our rest, and then head for Central City tomorrow. Street musicians add to the joy of the streets. Here we're across from the Palatine Palaces and we're on Palatine Hill, the castles of ancient Rome. These were all covered in marble and uh, from all over the world. Well, here we are in Anna Capri, and we're having dinner at a wonderful restaurant that we found, uh, and uh, it's very atmospheric, as well as, um, so far, having just excellent food. 
We went today to the Emerald Grotto and uh, now we're just having a bottle of wine on the back deck and relaxing tonight before we head out to Positano tomorrow. Well, we've uh, finally arrived in Positano and this is a view of um, from the top of the Eden Rock Hotel where we're having lunch and a bottle of wine and it's uh, quite an impressive place. <laughs> it's, uh, I think Sharon really likes it so far and uh, of course you have to walk here but that's good. We get our exercise before we get our reward. We're up here. I must, we must be uh, up at least two or uh, three thousand feet. Well, Satana was a place for the rich and famous. And here's one of their little boats docked down below us. Well, like the people down below on the balcony uh, beneath us, we're just sitting here and had a nice bottle of wine. And now we're going to uh, walk down to the local restaurant. But what a place this is. Just amazing. It's like something mythical. So this morning we're headed from uh, Pusatano to Salerno. We're going by ferry and uh, looking forward to the hour and a half trip down the Amalfi Coast. Uh, right now we're just waiting for our luggage to be picked up <laughs> because it's a big climb back up the mountain which we're too old to do with heavy bags. So there you have it. Now we're working our way down the mountainside to the town. I wonder how people have the nerve to build on these hillsides trying to maintain life. Uh, this is a Sunday night and people are all over the streets. Uh, shops are still open and there's, it's uh, kind of like a walking festival. So <laughs> we're going to spend the evening here, go to the historical district and then leave for uh, southern Italy tomorrow. We're heading south now uh, on the train from Salerno to uh, Cosenza and then our plan is to uh, take a bus back up to Malvita. We're looking forward to getting into the mountain town and seeing perhaps remnants of my ancestral history. We're here with our host and our translators and uh, driver and uh, we're going to be heading out to Malvito uh, which is the village that my uh, grandparents and my mother came from and uh, see what we can find out about the family history there. And uh, we're traveling along uh, Autostrata to, uh, which is about 20 kilometers until we go off into the mountains. And we're going up a two-lane road, which will lead eventually to Malvito. I just saw the, the first sign indicating that there was a village up here. So off in the distance is our first uh, glimpse of Malvito Cazenza. We're winding our way up the mountain to the town. The Castello de Malvito at the top of the mountain. And we have arrived in Malvito. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, let's go up this way. See what's what. Well, that's right. We'll get there. Oh, here's the post office. La cugina. No, oh, no, sì. Si era mia suocera. Io dico mia mamma, ma che mia suocera. Maybe she's my cousin. Ah, eh, di chi? Maybe. 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 Maybe.
Flora. My mother was Flora. Flora. Flora ma. Emanuela. Flora Emanuela. Flora Emanuela. When my grandfather left, his sister stayed in the house. And I think maybe. And, and non aveva più frate. Still here, maybe her daughter. E non ne trova ma l'uomo francese. Eh, allora su Francesco Ruggero non è lo zio di mamma. Come on, come on, ah, my grandfather's sister. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Ah. E perché non viene da casa lei? Non viene qui di. Però se cioè se praticamente quando a noi portiamo se un suo parente di mamma che casa ci faccio qui di se non c'è dipende da dove è sta casa allora che era volevo sapere ecco dite buono qui un castello dite che si può castello che tipo castello ma io cioè io tu con le chiude proprietà nostra we find out basta che la vediamo da fuori find out but e al limite si scendono in America e non sa il nome della sorella mamma che sapesse mamma poteva chiedere che hanno parenti che erano in America no mamma non ha mai saputo e dice che una sorella è rimasta qua e uno è rimasta qua abbiamo avuto un incontro con un gruppo di persone e una delle donne pensava che sia una cugina quindi ora stiamo cercando di capire what uh, more about the town and uh, some of the history and uh, where the municipal office is. This is the area around Malvito and uh, we're looking down here over the cemetery which I think we're going to go down to and see if we can find any remnants of family tombstones. Anyway, this is the uh, castle of Malvito Casenza. We're having uh, lunch by special arrangement in this restaurant. They've set up a table for us and uh, are open for lunch. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy our lunch. What did we learn from our visit to um, Malvito. What, what did we find out? We found out a few things. A few things about your grandfather and your uncles. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. What, what did we find out? The, we found out that uh, there's a house here. There's a house. And uh, we're still looking for the house. Laco. <laughs> Contrada Laco. There is the house. Aha. That's the house? Okay, we found out that my grandfather and grandmother were married in Malvito in 1915. Yeah. And that my uh, uncles were born in Malvito. Malvito. And that probably most of the Ruggieros have moved away now. Yeah. Uh, we have met the lady in the uh, ministry, uh, the, uh, what are the municipality that uh, told us that her family also immigrated to the same town in New York that yeah. I'm from, a Marinette which I thought was very interesting. Very interesting. Now we are we're going to eat. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, lunch. And we're, we're here looking at a very good lunch and starting uh, to eat. We're waiting just for me to shut up. <laughs> well, we've arrived. This is my grandfather's house, which is now abandoned. And uh, we're going to get up closer, but uh, you can see that it was a, probably a very nice piece of property at one time with olive trees and a mountain behind it. Uh, they used to go hunting up here and uh, now it's not used anymore. So the family owned uh, all of this property up the mountainside and this valley and it was divided among the sons eventually and sold off. This is the uh, view from my grandparents and great-grandparents property. <laughs> uh, well, the house is a ruin now, but uh, I think it's probably maybe three or four hundred years old. Um, it's been here a long time. And this is a beautiful sight. 
What do you think, Sharon? What are your thoughts about this old place? Oh, well, it's stunning, the view <laughs> from here. Oh, look the at the sheep down there. The age of this house <laughs> is astonishing. Oops. Sheeps and cows living downstairs. <laughs> Okay, uh, the last son of uh, Ruggiero's family uh, yeah. came here 50 years ago. 50 years ago. But, I don't know. Oh, they left here 50 years ago. Um, but when did they come originally? You know, original. Non, non viveva, non dormiva, però qua. Era, veniva, faceva uh -oh, olio, come. puliva. Ah, he comes uh. here. Yeah. Uh, look at uh, the. Però la famiglia vera e propria sono 30 anni che non, non, non vive più. Three, it's not 30 yeah. years. No, but. Sono 30 years. But this house was built maybe 150 years ago. Yeah. yeah. But the Ruggiero's lived here then? Yeah. Okay. So maybe at least 150 years. Yeah. Or more. Ooh, sai. <laughs> Long time. 50 years. At least, huh? Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for, <laughs> for everything. Well, that's it. When you come the next time, we'll adjust it a little bit. Maybe Maybe this is the last time that you see the whole dome in this way. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the next time will be... Well, I don't know if I'll come <laughs> next time, but uh, if I live long enough, maybe <laughs> again. I'll have a coffee, then I'll have a coffee. I'll have a coffee. I'll have a coffee. Well, if they ever want to sell the property, they should let me know. No, I don't know where there's water. There's water, maybe in the south. I mean, it's bad, we're close to it. If not, we're going to put it. We're now going up to... Uh, what was an old fountain and spring on the property. And so we're walking up that way now. See if we can find the old fountain. Oh boy, I'd like to have that spring on my property. Wow. So here it is now, a three or four hundred year old ruin that my family lived in and owned quite a bit of uh, property here. And now it's uh, been divided. Uh, my uh, apparently my uh, grandfather's sister uh, married a second time, and, uh, and I think inherited uh, or had several children. And then they divided it. They had four sons, and they divided the property uh, among the sons, and who sold it all off. And what's left is. Uh, a three-acre piece that uh, people who are showing us around have bought, and they live in another house, of course, but they own the property. This chestnut tree is one that might have been planted by my grandfather when he was a young man, or his father before him. But anyway, it's an edible chestnut tree, and it's obviously been planted here. A last look. A last look. Before we leave. There's the view to the castle from here. <laughs> Thank everybody for uh, being so patient and being so helpful, uh, finding out information about my family. It's very important to me. So, molte <laughs> grazie. That's it. We've uh, discovered a lot about the property and about the history and about why. My family came here hundreds of years ago. I'll be returning to Italy and hope to have all of the questions answered uh, that we were not able to have answered before in the short time that we have. I look forward to our next adventure.